Hi everyone, so let's continue our journey and in the couple of videos we are going to talk about Nest CSV testing with the Type ORM, SQLize, Mongoose, Prisma and then we will start our journey with the end-to-end -end testing. So in the Nest CS you can write end-to-end -end testing with the super test or Pactum and we are going to build test suite. We are going to run the end-to-end -end test tests on CI/CD pipeline. We are, we are going to run the coverage and we are going to cover all the scenarios of end-to-end -end testing. So let's stay tuned. In this session, we are going to hit actual database for the end-to-end -end testing and what all components we are going to use. We are using Prisma, which is going to interface with the MongoDB and we are going to write end-to-end -end test, which is going to use Pactum. So you can use a Pactum or a super test. Both modules are used for hitting the actual APIs. So this particular application has some uh, APIs which contains the login, registration and all those things. So we should be able to hit the actual API and test all those endpoints. I'm just checking the application first, npm run build, npm run test. Or first I will try to show you what this application contains. npm run debug. I just executed tests. So build is fine. I can start this application. So I will try to show you what this application contains. It has some login endpoint. So here first generate the Prisma because we are using Prisma. So you can just do npx Prisma generate. It will create the Prisma client for us. And then you can also do the migrate. But here we are using MongoDB. So migration is not possible. So another important thing we are using MongoDB here and when you are using MongoDB with the Prisma, it needs the replica set enabled. I mean, I have faced this trouble every time when I use uh, Prisma with the MongoDB. So now what do I have is I have created a Docker file and that Docker file contains the instructions to bootstrap the MongoDB container for me, which has the replica set enabled. And I just do Docker compose up, which gives me uh, the MongoDB container to which I can connect through Prisma. You can see the URL is MongoDB root and its auth source is admin. So if you are using, if you are struggling with this, then this example will help be helpful how to work with the Prisma and a MongoDB. And here we are going to write our unit test cases. So our Docker Compose app is running. What I will do is we can just simply do npm run test, which is running the end to end te so unit test. I don't have any unit test here. I'm just running the application to see what this application contains and it has a lots of endpoints and here you need to provide the admin admin if you want to see the documentation admin and admin this also I have configured in the code because we are using express basic auth to validate that nobody can see the swagger api docs until unless you are authorized so admin and here I can see the api spec the API specs are simple. Here we are doing login, sign up, login, sign out, refresh, and the user data. Now let's do the end to end test for these endpoints. First, you register yourself, then do the login. Once you have a token, use that token to access the endpoints, right? So we will write the end to end test for that. We have a sign up, sign in, sign out uh, list of all the users' APIs. So we'll try to hit some of the APIs to check auth local sign up. I will just try to pass the data and here I got the token and I can use this particular token in the authorized block. So now let's try to test this particular interface. Here we are doing sign up and sign in and we are getting the access token and the refresh token. So you can copy this access token and then this access token can be used to get your own profile detail because we are using this uh, nest jwt jwt passport jwt auth guard and all so you need to pass this authorization header to get the user profile i am not explaining the code itself because here we are talking about testing not how to write a simple login and register for that i already have a lots of videos so here we are we are writing app end to end test cases and we will just first create the Nest module. First, we'll create the app instance and then we'll start the application. I nest application and Prisma because we are using the Prisma service. 
here we are doing before anything get the application instance async block and here we are going to create the app instance const module reference equal to uh, await i think it should be test dot create test module and pass your app module root module of the application so everything is included in the module reference it has everything all your controller services and everything just compile it and now module reference dot app equal to module reference dot get sorry dot create nest application your application is created then you can just do app dot init you can also register your uh, middleware uh, pipes interceptors anything which you want here i'm registering a validation pipe app dot use global pipe new validation pipe that should be not inside an object let's fix it new validation pipe and here you can just specify transform whitelist all these different options true so i have registered a validation pipe with this and now i can just do app dot init and app dot listen so we are doing app dot init and app dot listen on particular port and then prisma we need to get the prisma service using app dot get prisma service of type prisma service and then uh, we can simply get started with the writing the end to end test cases so we have app instance now we got the prisma service instance and then prisma dot clean database i think there is a method clean database this is very important and why we are doing it before all before all run this operation I mean, whenever you write a, you do the tests. First of all, clean the database. So this will happen for each and every execution of the test, and this is important because we need to have a clean database every time. And Prisma has a utility, Prisma dot clean database. It actually wipe out the uh, the entity data. It's very useful for us. And then we are using Pactum. So I am just setting the base URL for the Pactum. So we don't need to specify the whole endpoint. URL while writing the end-to-end -end test. So this is the base because three 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 is the port we are using. And after all, you can just uh, do the cleanup. So what we are doing inside a cleanup is app dot close. And here this is ah uh, before all and after all. Now we will write our test case. Use end-to-end -end test case for writing the checking the APIs. So this is a simple DTO. And here I'm trying to hit the login API or the sign up API. So this is the auth DTO, and I'm going to check for the bad request first. Like when you are when I'm passing the only email, not password. When I'm passing the password, not email. This API should be giving the bad request exception. So how to write API spec? I mean API test using Pactum. We can just just do Pactum dot spec dot post with body. I mean they, it has all these helper methods. Okay, just do the post to this endpoint with this particular body. We are passing only password. And once this is done, I mean you are executing it, then this is what you, we will expect. Expect status 400 because we will be getting the bad request here. We can write furthermore another uh, test case where you are just passing the password. So the auth sign up, we are passing only the email. And if you are passing the email, then obviously the payload is not complete. You will get bad request. Pactum dot spec auth local sign up. If you're not passing anything, you will get a status code 400. So this is how, I mean, you can write any, any type of complex sample for writing the unit test. So important part here is how we initialize the app. We are doing module reference dot create application, registering the global pipes if needed, initialize the application and start the application on port and then get the Prisma service and the Pactum. Now you, you are just doing a pactum dot spec dot get put post delete with or without body and dot expect. So this is how we are writing a simple unit test. I mean, this is not a very advanced example of unit test, very simple, but how to get started with the unit test, this is explaining. And I have all the basic APIs of login, register, uh, get user profile that we are testing through this. Now you can just do simply npm run test, npm run test e2e and get it running.